Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Platinum Love Lock. In the last episode, we... Uh, what did we do? We did the Salacian Ruins, the Lost Tower, and then we did the this route here uh, where the Moo Moo Milk people are. So that's what we did. We also added a new pair to our team, so let's go ahead and show them off. So we got Jubilee, the Togekiss here at level 28. Uh, she's got Serene Grace like she would normally do. Uh, with Sky Attack, Extreme Speed, Aura Sphere, and Air Slash. Uh, and her partner is all the way down here. Peanut, the Pottery, so at level 20. Rock and Quick Attack, Charm, Spark, and Endure. Uh, then we got Mother here at level 35 on the Amulet Coin to make sure we get some extra money. Uh, with Dragon Dance, Dragon Claw, Crunch, and Rock Smash. And her, her partner is Munch, the Carnivine at level 33, holding the scope lens so we can get some more crits with Vine Whip, Mach Punch, Fin Attack, and Sacred Fire. And then our last couple is the Zyra the Steelix, level 31, holding the choice band uh, with Rock Tomb, Sandstorm, Screech, and Rock Throw. And then her partner is Depth the Whale Lord at level 32, holding the Wave Incense with Whirlpool, Brine, Water Pulse, and Rollout. And that's our friends is the team so what i'm gonna do real quick is i'm gonna make a beeline to the pokemon center because i need to make sure i have uh pp on my moves and it didn't look like that with the steelix at all so you might be wondering uh like this is my i'm, I'm recording in the day again this is still like super ahead of schedule so this will be like It'll be February when this video is going out, so uh, that'll be that'll be interesting. Um, I just I don't know. I get the ur I got the urge to play and record another session like I did what it would be last night for me, but um, like three weeks ago when this video goes up. Ooh, a pile of swine. Oh, I thought it had drizzle. I was like, Nani? Uh, where? I just, I just did not bring the notebook over here. Okay, whatever. Um, so what can I do to this thing? I think an air slash shouldn't kill this thing. It didn't. Cool. All right, and we got the and we got the flinch, which matters. Um. Uh, what do we got? Let's. I should. I need to. I need to go and look at the Mart for Great Balls because I. I can't sit here and keep only having Pokeballs. That's like the. That's gonna be a problem for me if we just keep having Pokeballs instead of. There we go. Um. Okay. So. Let's see. It's the swine Pokemon, obviously. It's gonna evolve into Mammal Swine. Uh, and I think I'm just gonna name it Ellie. Like, the mammoth from the Ice Age movies. I think that's... That's what it's gonna be named, so... There's that. So, I'm gonna head back to the Pokemon Center again. Because... I should check and see if... Great balls are available. They should be. We're three badges deep. There's really no reason they shouldn't be available. Yeah, I was gonna say. All right, I'm gonna buy. I'll buy thirty of them. Is that one really dent how much money we have right now? We're really, we're really sitting well with the money. I just did not want to go. I just did not want to go back in. But yeah, we're rolling in it right now, so that's that's good for us. That's very good for us. Um, so I'm gonna check out Ellie real quick and see if we may get something promising here. Primary Ice, Lax Natured, Compound Eyes. That's not a bad ability to have. I mean, it's not 
Icicle Crash isn't in this game, so... I mean, Ice Fang would actually take advantage of Compound Eyes, so... That'd be really... That'd be really good for us. Thinking about it. Alright, let's speed up and get to this guy right here. Get off the bike. <sighs> get off the bike. So... I'm thinking if we make it into the gym in today's episode, then we're we're chilling. I think we'll be able to take on the gym in the next episode, which is good, which is very good, I think. So I'm looking forward to that. Amistar, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna get Munch out here. I want to get my. The goal is to get my entire team to 35 before we get in the gym, but I don't know if that's going to be the case unless I go south of, um, unless I go south of Alestone, I really don't think, it's not that I don't think I need to, it's just I don't think, I don't know if I necessarily need an entire team of 35s to go in there, but I don't know what Maylene's going to have, because we're playing a randomizer, obviously. Alright, payback. Wait, that's... Isn't that... We already know what that is, right? Is that not just Sacred Fire? Yeah, we got another Sacred Fire TM. Alright, that's... That, that could be really good. Because I think Steelix could actually learn that. Which... I'm gonna 100% give it to Steelix because... Mm -hmm. She needs some better moves. Yeah, she needs better moves. I know she's Choice Band and I still have Screech and Sandstorm on there, but... Hey. I mean, it's not going to really do us much in this route because of the rain, but... Hey. Whatever. Mm -hmm. Alright, since I have TM compatibil or HM compatibility on completely, I'm going to teach Cut to Peanut. Uh, just because we're not I don't see myself using this thing at all, so... I'm going to just make it like an honorary HM holder person because I want to make sure I fight everybody and get all the items I can and there's a trainer and an item right here like this could be a master ball for all we know and that could be very very helpful for me all right Trapion level 27 okay that did a decent amount there we go. Level 29. I'll I'll take Jubilee out of the front once she hits 30. Because of I wanna make sure she just caught up to the rest of the team and I just want I just like I said, I just wanna make sure she's caught up to the rest of the team in terms of levels, because she's gonna be she's probably gonna be one of my better mons throughout the entirety of this game. Nice, an insect plate. We already have one of these. Yo, I just realized we can have a field day here soon because in Veilstone they have a Giftmon. They also have a department store which is going to have randomized TMs. It's going to be great. Nice, we stopped, snapped out of confusion. I wonder if extreme speed would kill here. It didn't, but it's fine. Is we hit now? No. If we hit there, we would have killed it. Alright, there we go. I didn't know Extreme Speed was a Gen 3 move. Like, I forgot about that. I thought it was always in Gen 4 when you first found out about it, but it's not the case at all. It's not the case at all. Um, yeah, there's another item... Or no, is this just berries? I know there's another cut tree here where we can get a TM. I'm not sure if that item right there is a TM or not. It'd be nice if we can get, a, like, good TMs. Like, if they sell... I don't think they sell payback in the department store. Another Soul Dew. Yeah, we, we picked up Soul Dew as well. Like, unless we get a Latios or a Latios, I don't see... I don't really see the significance of having one of those. Hey, fight me. 
Fight me. Writer Jimmy, Infernape, okay. I feel like I shouldn't be scared because we're in the rain and I'm nine levels higher, but I just don't want to take the risk. Taunt, that's fine. I'm going to kill you with a Whirlpool. Sad that is. That's sad. Slow King, all right. Munch can definitely handle. Definitely handle a Slow King. Look at that. Disable? That's fine. That is perfectly fine. I got faint attack. What's next? Not to? Again, I got faint attack. Wish all you want, buddy. My team is actually a lot better than I would have anticipated. I know we're kind of over leveled, but like. It's pretty good. I mean, Rayquaza is a legend. Carnivine has been putting in a lot of work, and I think that's mainly down to, you know, having the randomized moves and stuff for it. Um, the Steelix is good because of its defense, and Waylord has a dumb amount of HP, and then Togekiss is just a really good special attacker. Confuse Ray? Ah, I mean, that's not a terrible move, but I don't see myself wanting to get rid of another move for it, unless, like, I have a completely... Trash. God awful moveset. Oh, a nugget. That's good. It's really good, actually. All right, I'm gonna do this double battle just as a double battle, cause why the frick not? Why the frick not? I mean, it's it's scary. It could be scary, anyways. So let's see what we got. Mothum and Mewtwo. Um, okie dokie. So for me. In my knowledge, I know Mewtwo doesn't get any sort of moves at this level, so I don't really think I need to be as terrified of it as the Mothum, because Mothum can actually potentially kill Munch at this level. So I'm going to Air Slash you. Air Slash you, get you out of here. Munch, hold the bubble up. There we go. Look at that. 34. Are we learning anything new? No, we're not. That's fine. Alright, we get a Sacred Fire off on the Mewtwo. I don't know if he has any physical moves, but if we get the burn, that'd be pretty nice. That did nothing to him, but we did get the burn, so... I am I am very thankful for that. The status on him. Aridos. Same thing as the Mothum. I'm gonna focus on that, because that's more threatening to me than the Mewtwo is. Alright, you disabled my Sacred Fire. I'm not going for it again. We're in the rain, and there's nothing that would be on the field, really, that would actually take damage from it. 415. Go ahead and go for a Faint Attack here. What are we doing with that? God damn. This Mew Mewtwo is taking these hits. Tank in these hits. And a Makuita. Alright. You got... You got Fake Out, my guy? Because if you do, go for Munch. Future Sight. Okay, that's a little bit nerve-wracking. Nerve uh, so I'm going to make sure after this turn that I heal up Jubilee. Because I'm more afraid of it hitting Jubilee than Munch. Because Jubilee's at... Like 60% of her health. And a future sight from Mewtwo could potentially kill from that range. Mm. So I think I think what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to mock punch and I'm gonna heal up with a super potion here. That way if the future sight comes in. It has aftermath. Jesus Christ. I'm glad I didn't. I'm glad I didn't attack with the Togekiss there. I'm really glad I didn't attack with Togekiss there. Minin? Okay, Vine Whip and Aura Sphere. All right, nice, nice. Munch just taking the future side attack. Oof. Oh, and there's a pincer out on the field? Alright, yeah. We're gonna need to... 
How much health are you missing? Okay, you're missing a little bit more than a, a super potion. And with the pincer out on the field, I know how strong pincer can be, so I'm not going to take that risk. Even if I knew Jubilee was going to outspeed there, just didn't want to take the chance, guys. Just didn't want to take the chance. Alright, so I think what I'm going to do, since we're here in Veilstone, is I'm going to take a quick trip over towards... Um, I gotta take a trip here to the Pokemon Center because I need to drop somebody off because I know we can get a, like, a gift Porygon here and it's a free encounter. As long as it's not an Ice type, it can pair up with the Mammoth Swine, a Pile of Swine for that. Rather. Alright, so I'm gonna put Peanut down there for right now. I'm going to put Peanut down there for right now. I'm going to head over to this house. I believe it's the one on the right. Yes. Yes. Alright. Set to the Porygon. It's an Azuril. So right now that's a normal type, but it would become a water type upon evolution. Um, it also has a chance of changing genders, so I think I need to find a name that... You know what, let's name it Percy. We'll name it Percy. I'm not really sure how to feel about this, just because it's a Zoomerol with huge power is really, really good. And there's a chance that it's just not going to have it as Flame Body. But that's no huge power. But we don't know yet. We have to actually evolve. We have to evolve a friendship. God, do I see myself actually doing that with this thing? I don't know. I genuinely don't know if I do. All right, so Percy is paired up with Ellie. So that is a pair that we have created. Another one we have created. Um... So that's good for us. Uh, I'm pretty sure we have... There's a game corner here as well. I'm gonna take a look at the department store first because I wanna know where the TMs are. Third floor. Third floor is where we wanna go. So any TM can really be good for us, like t number wise, I should say. Okay, dig, dev or triple kick. Triple kick wouldn't be bad, I don't think. I think I'm gonna get, I'll get a triple kick TM. I know the selection is kind of, <laughs> it's kind of ass. Uh, actually, it's 83. I don't know what. Team 83 normally is. So I, I want to get it. I mean, I have the money for it, so why not get one and see who can learn it? And then down here is where, like, OP TMs would be. Ooh. Ooh, okay. Discharge, that's normally Fire Blast. Like, number-wise, that's normally Fire Blast. So I'm going to take that. And then Bug Buzz as well. That's a that is a good move as well. I think Togekiss can actually learn both of those, which is huge. So I'm going to look at Discharge here. Because Discharge hits what? Flying and water. Mother can learn it, and Mother is a calm nature. But maybe I just need to. Maybe I need to come back when we're actually, like, kitted out with stuff. So I'm going to get rid of Sky Attack. And I think I'll give, let's see, Bug Buzz is good for Grass, Psychic, Dark. Everyone can learn it, too. Um, 
Grass Psychic and Dark. I mean, I kind of want to give it to the Wailord. So we can get get him some, like, type diversity. And that's something that, if we need it to hit a, a Grass type, that could be good. So I might get rid of, you know what, we'll get rid of Whirlpool. Triple Kick, I don't know if anybody's going to learn this. Togekiss can learn it. Um, yeah, I don't really want a physical Togekiss, though. Did we get any other moves? We got Dig. Can Steelix learn this? Yes, everyone can learn it, actually. But yeah, I think Steelix needs it the most, because that's a stab move that we're lacking. And I think... I think I need to get rid of Sandstorm. So... That's our TM situation figured out. I think what I want to do is I want to go to... I want to go to the house that gives us the coin case. Uh, and I'm thinking about that because I want to know what mons we could potentially get from the game corner. Because I'm pretty sure those are randomized. I'm pretty sure those are randomized. Prize exchange. Can we actually see them, or do we need the coin case first? Oh no, we can't get mods in this game. I thought we could. Wait, wait, wait. That guy gives you a hidden power TM, I'm pretty sure. No, you don't give me hidden power. Where... Or is it you? I got just warned someone gave me hidden power. I feel duped. You know what? Screw it. We'll get to the gym and then we'll call this episode. Wait, I need to go back and get... I need to go get Peanut out of the box. Or did I... No, I grabbed Peanut. Peanut's with us. I just was like... It was in the box, so you were trying to teach TMs and it just... You can teach certain ones to it. Alright. So fourth gym. We should be pretty... I think we're going to be okay for this gym. Looking at our levels. I just... Um, I fear whatever it could be is our ace. But... You know what? We can just do what we do best. And that is play smart. We got some new TMs. So we got some more tight diversity on our side. So... I think we'll be pretty prepared. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed, make sure you hit that like button down below because it would be greatly appreciated. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you follow my Twitter in the description below. And we are going to get out of here. Deuces.